WGTW Channel 4. the remains of what once was the great legendary career of an asshole they named Terry Funk. You see, Terry, I told you seven and a half years ago, when you step in the ring with the franchise, there are dues and bills that need to be paid. When you step into the ring with Shane Douglas to find out who made who, did your old ass make me? Or did I take your old carcass, hoist it over my shoulder, and pull you back to greatness when your career was snuffed out in 1993? Did you make a little company called ECW with that broken body? Or did I, with this chiseled body of 248 pounds of solid muscle, make a company, take it to national greatness, and watch it swirl into bankruptcy after I walked away, Terry Funk? Will we make this new company, XPW, in the image of your fallen body? Or will we make it in the image of a franchise? The only man who in this sport, Lizzie, can say he took a nothing company to greatness. And now we'll take a something company called XPW. <laughs> and take it to the Nirvana. Same place I took ECW. Same place. I could have taken WCW had they had the prison enough to go with somebody named Shane Douglas and not Larry Fall, <laughs> Lex Luger. Not somebody named Dick Flair, Richard Flair. Not somebody named Terrence Funk. You see, they made the same mistake. They went with old pieces of <laughs> whose time had come and gone, Terry. And you had ample opportunity before Saturday night, August 31st, to walk away from this business with the thousands and thousands and millions of dollars you had made in your career, Terry. But you, you, you brought it to this, Terry Funk. For 22 years, I've heard that Terry Funk was the toughest son of a walking this planet, the toughest SOB in professional wrestling. I say you're a fing Terry Funk. A fing because you had a chance to walk away. And instead, you did the unthinkable, Terry Funk, what you've never done in your career before. You bowed down before the franchise. You begged the referee. Please, John Finnegan, I cannot go on. Ring the bell before the franchise cripples me once and for all. You quit, Terry Funk. You acquiesced. You gave up. You fought the fight as long as you could fight it until your body said, I can take no more of the franchise, and you quit. And to save face, Terry Funk, let's tell the world the honest truth. You walked into the dressing room and smacked Shane Douglas, not once, not twice, but you went for a third one before I told you I would knock your old piece of ass out had you done it. And you did it. Terry Funk and 25 men held me back while nothing but your fear held you back. And I called you name after name. Spineless, yellow. 
And you sat there and you took it because you had to, Terry Funk. Because you couldn't do a damn thing about it. Yeah, Terry Funk, your career now lies in ruin. You have finished yourself off once and for all. And to be the gentleman that I am, Terry Funk, I shall give you in your death which you could never in your career take for the franchise. 16 pounds of my gold, Terry Funk. 16 pounds of my gold. And I took it out of your old, broken down piece of hide. <laughs> Rest in peace, Terry Funk. You piece of spineless, yellow, <laughs> Let's go, Lizzie. We got us a bright future, a huge company, XPW to run. <laughs> Not without this. <laughs> PWTV, Chris Kloss here. Now, what you just saw was the footage of the franchise Shane Douglas and his new fiance, Lizzie Borden, claiming to be at the gravesite of the living legend Terry Funk. Now, this just hot off the heels of what we saw last week. Footage from the main event at Hostile Takeover when Terry Funk, I still can't believe this, actually submitted to the franchise Shane Douglas in the world title match. Now, the question was asked over and over, who made who? And apparently, Shane Douglas proclaiming he was the one that made ECW. He was the one that remade the living legend Terry Funk, and he was the one that ended the career of none other than the living legend. Now, with the XPW World Heavyweight title firmly around his waist and Lizzie Borden by his side, the franchise Shane Douglas now has complete control of XPW. And the only question that remains is what will be the fallout? That question will be answered Saturday night, October the 5th, as XPW returns to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, returns to the XPW Arena as XPW presents Fallout. Tickets on sale right now at the XPW box office, 1-866-888-4336, or log on to xpwrestling.com. Ringside seats are almost gone. If you want general admission seats, you can contact the box office or head down to Tony Luke's Old Style Philly Sandwiches located at 39 East Oregon Avenue, just around the corner from the XPW Arena. Tonight, fans, we're gonna take you back to XPW's Hostile Takeover, and we're gonna take a look at the very intense XPW World Television title match between champion Rock Superstar Chaos and challenger Confederate Currency Chris Hamrick. Now, if Chris Hamrick won this match, that meant he would finally become the XPW World Television Champion. But if Chaos won, that means Hamrick would never get another shot at the Rock Superstar for the TV title. Now, if you thought that this meant the match was going to be intense, just wait until you see what happened after the match. Fans, we'll be right back. 
You know, Lizzie, I worked for a company one time and I took it to greatness just to watch it swirl down the drain because some jackass Paul Heyman couldn't take care of business. Oh, he could take care of business behind the scenes, if you know what I mean. But he couldn't take care of business and keep a company called ECW in business long enough to make me become a rich man. No more of that, Lizzie. I mean, you were great. You handed me Rob Black's company on a, like you said, golden bladder. And I'm not going to watch this one get flushed down the toilet because of some jackass that doesn't know how to balance a checkbook. I do. From this point forward, our wrestlers are going to start taking care of themselves like businessmen. They'll sign contracts exclusive to XPW, exclusive to you, Lizzie Borden, and to me, the franchise. From this point forward, they're going to pay taxes, like half the jackasses in this business don't know how to do. So you don't get in trouble, Lizzie Borden, and I, the franchise, don't get in trouble. From this point forward, these wrestlers will start to conduct themselves in a professional manner. And that means if they have to, <laughs> take some drug tests as well. Hey, never hurt anybody that f***s into a cup. If you got the good aim, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, I love it when you talk business. <laughs> hey, can you see the eyes on chaos whenever he gets told he's going to into a cup. Uh, his little boyfriend. <laughs> How about the hardcore homo when you tell him to aim for the cup? <laughs> oh, he's usually aiming for mouth. Oh, you know what I want you to do right now? Start stuffing. I want you to stuff it like only you can, sweetheart. <laughs> XPW. We're taking this baby to the top. Ooh. <laughs> Is this your home phone? Yes, he is. Yes, I am. Is this about the job? If you've been disconnected, call Metro Teleconnect. 4720395. Yes, that's my home phone. Old oh, unpaid phone God. bills and bad credit don't matter. So, did you get it? You'll call tomorrow. Don't get caught in the rain. Call Metro Teleconnect for a sunnier day ahead. Look at this. Still king of the deathmatch champion. And this cakewalk you guys call the tournament the hardcore icon in the first round, you idiots! Boom, gone. Second round, what was this? The Ultra Boy Luke? No problem. Shoot, by the time the third round hit, I had my 40s down to King Cobra. <laughs> I was ready to go. I had my bags packed already. In the finals, the hardcore homo? The hardcore homo? 40 feet down. Then that f wants to come back and challenge me one on one in a singles match for this? Hey, homo, you didn't have what it took. You didn't have enough off the scaffold, did you? But no, you had to come back. You're at home nursing your little wounds with your little boyfriend. He's not coming back. There is no competition here for Supreme. You idiots thought you were going to watch a death match? No. The human horror show is what you came to see. I'm issuing an open challenge. Come and try to take it if you can. <laughs> and the guy comes in and blindsides us. I mean, he took you out with, I think he calls it the bareback, brother, with the Liberace t-shirt on. He did look pretty stupid. He did look stupid. Did you see him look like Big Bird? Dude, Danny Dory is nothing but a punk-ass I mean... Punk-ass little donkey Speaking of Hi, Veronica. How are you? Speaking of a couple of punk-ass our new bosses. What the heck is this? What, the, what is this logo? You don't understand. Wait, what is this? I have a headache already, money. Yeah. I have been inundated by this paperwork, bylaws, Get and bull. Yeah. Listen to some of this stuff. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, God. Are you telling? Uh, what, what is all this contracts? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Now listen, listen, listen. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, first of all, you guys. New bylaws. I guess, you know, um, now that the, the, what do you, oh my god. Are you listening? Mom. Okay. Feed it to me, this baby. This whole new franchise what we got? thing. Drug testing. Drug testing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean drug testing? <coughs> this is actually freaking W. What do you mean drug testing? What it says. What it says. <coughs> Whoa. What it says. It gets worse.
course. Drug of course. That's nothing. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, I know clerk? this guy, dude. He, he, got, he got his covered. This guy's got his cover on the drug testing thing. Don't worry about it. Yeah, okay, you might want to worry about this one. What? Um, <coughs> all wrestlers have to sign five-year contracts with XPW. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But... Five years. <coughs> on market value. Okay, okay, You can okay, change a lot okay, in five okay, years. Okay. Definitely. Um, <coughs> X, okay, here's one. I, XPW badges. You right? Badges must be worn badges. at all times. They included badges somewhere. In here. Uh, must be worn at all times. <laughs> you alright? Oh, I'm dying over here, man. Wait, uh, dude. What are you doing? Go ahead. No. What are you doing? It's badge on. No, not now, the Jack. The franchise Jack. wants the badge on. Uh, hey, rock super tired, if, man. You're in your own freaking house. If we house. didn't get with the big time, then we're good. Dude, brighten up, rock super tired. You're in your own house. Don't wear it now. Oh my god, I'm dying. Did you say drug testing? Drug testing. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, well, this one shouldn't affect me too much. Virgin lungs. Oh my god, money. I don't feel so good. Yeah, you need to go to a doctor or something. Okay, this one. No gold ring attire. <laughs> I don't wear gold. As if. As if. I hope you don't mind the gold that we're going to be like, constantly belt. bringing to the ring. Yeah, you got the belt. Big Bird. Dude, what is this This is Big Bird. Okay, and here's a weird one, too. Oh, my God. Although this one is interesting. All XPW wrestlers must have contracts signed with their prospective opponents before a match is official. That's this thing, man. Let so if you're that. like... Oh. If your hand cock isn't on there before the match, then it's no good. Uh, your hand could be on <laughs> any day. Uh, yeah. you, you know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. Okay. Okay, no yeah. gold ring attire. Hancock. Okay, we're going to be... What do you think? Hancock? We're going to be responsible for paying our own taxes. Get the out of here! here. Yeah, don't worry. I got that end covered, you guys. No, oh, taxes. Yeah. All right, but... And then here's 8 by 10 is for you never to forget... What? Who your new bosses are. What? what else? Oh, my. Ugh. If that's not enough. What do you do? Are you kidding me? What, what else is here? What are these bylaws, regulations? Are you kidding me? Oh. There's like 42 more pages of I, bylaws? I'm starting to miss Rob Black here. Wait, what's this graph? Market share and drawing percentages? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Wait, wait, what? Oh, they're getting ridiculous with this, trying to... Why would, oh. they, why would they send us this? This makes me sick. It looks like somebody f***ed on it. Drug contract. You got it covered, man. Dude, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of it. We got the drug testing covers. Brother, don't worry. Brother, take let's go to the studio. I'll take care of it. On three separate occasions, Confederate currency Chris Hammer came within one count of becoming the XPW World Television Champion, and on all those occasions, Chaos snuck away with the goal. Now, the match was signed. Their first ever one-on-one -on -one ladder match. Winner take all, there would be no rematch. Fans, let's go back to that historic night. Chris Hammer has had his shot at the XPW television title on numerous occasions. Most recently, of course, at Night of Champions out in Los Angeles, California, suspended from a 40-foot scaffold hovering over the ring at that huge event. And this, this is his final return rematch for Chaos's XPW TV title. Chris Hamrick now in the ring. And what a house of fire he is. Confederate currency Chris Hamrick hailing from the great state of Tennessee, awaiting West Coast. Oh, I'm talking about the man we used to know as Kid Chaos. And what an athlete he's turned into. I'm talking about the rock superstar Chaos as we await his appearance. And now we're taking a look. Yes, at the XPW World Television title suspended high above the ring here at the XPW Arena in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania.
That belt usually worn around the waist of Chaos, but no, not now, as we see GQ Money and Veronica Kane, two-thirds, if you will, of the Enterprise. But where's the Rock Superstar? Well, this is one of his long, long-awaited entrances. All the hype that the Enterprise puts into this great athlete. Not that he doesn't deserve it, but come on, that man right there. The better currency, Chris Hamrick, he deserves the accolades as well. I mean, pound for pound, move for move. These guys match up so beautifully together, and the Rock Superstar cast, wait, yes, there he is right there. The XPW World Television Champion making his debut on East Coast Brown here at the XPW Arena once again. He's going to be defending his TV title one final time against Confederate currency Chris Hamrick. And Chris Hamrick has come so close on both occasions of taking the title from that man. And this could be his night. He knows that this is his final rematch for the XPW World Television title. Introducing first the challenger from Bristol, Tennessee, Confederate currency Chris Hamrick. His opponent represent, representing the most elite faction in XPW, the Enterprise. Standing beside me to my left, brothers. This is the lady that brings the blood flowing through each of your teeny weeny little main veins. I'm talking about the lovely goddess, Veronica Kane. Oh. And the pleasure, my friends, is all yours as I introduce to you the longest reigning, the undisputed, the undefeated XPW television champion of the world. Not only is he XPW's greatest television champion ever, he is the greatest television champion ever because he's not Mr. Monday Night, he's Mr. Every Night. This is The Rock Superstar Chaos! Quite an introduction as the fans here on the East Coast looking on, looking disbelief for that specimen right there, and of course the Enterprise as well. But Confederate currency for that man right look there at all. is ultraviolet GQ money. Confederate currency, Chris Hammer, chaos. One final time, one final rematch for the world XPW television title, which is hanging high above the ring. And look at GQ money. What is this? I mean, come on. Hey, get, oh, look at that shot right in the mush of GQ Money from Confederate Currency, Chris Herrick, and you can hear it, you can hear the impact as this match is, yes, officially underway here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Iris of Dow. Chaos, Big Frog, up and over. And look at this, sidewalk slam, no, counter from Chris Hamrick. It's Chaos off the rope. Big Frog from Chris Hamrick, hip toss, no, look at this. Monkey flip, and Chaos, look at this, lands off both feet. The agility of both these fences is phenomenal. Up and over now, going for the belly to the back. No, but it's Chaos with the upper hand. Another Irish whip from Pillar to Post. Hamrick jumps up, oh, look at that spine buster. Beautifully executed from the rock superstar Chaos, world television champ. That's how you do it! GQ Money and Veronica Kane look very pleased in the early goings of this match. And Chaos, this could be a mistake. John, with these fans here in Philly, once again in the early goings, but it's Chaos. Going outside of the ring, what is this already? You gotta be kidding me, already going for the ladder? No. Yes, we got ladders laid out all across the ringside area here at Viking Hall. And Hamrick still suffering at the hands of Chaos. From that spine bus, look at this drop kick, no. Sliding the ladder out of the way, Chris Hamrick. Quick up and over, springboard, look at this. Moonsault right on top of the Rock Superstar as Chaos goes down on the concrete bar. Look at this once again, beautifully executed. Desperation from Chris Hamrick. 
Yeah, still grabbing the back of his head. Hamrick now going into the ring wisely. He is still regrouping on the outside. Coming in the hard way, Chaos. Slingshot from Confederate Currency. Oh, Hamrick. Oh, look at this, going between the legs. Hamrick looking around. Boston Crab. Look at this Boston Crab into a surfboard. Confederate Currency, Chris Hammock really wrenching away at the back now of Chaos. Chaos trying to get out of the swinging pendulum and look at GQ Money coming into the ring. Atomic drop from Chris Hamrick onto GQ Money. And what's Hamrick doing now? Hamrick looks like an Indian deadlock. And now a dragon sleeper onto GQ Money and a sleeper onto Chaos. GQ Money tapping out so very quickly. Huge clothesline as GQ Money goes flying down. And both men, both men of the Enterprise are down. Chris Hammer thinking on both toes tonight. Huge chop from Confederate Currency. Chris Hammer right under the rock superstar. What the hell was GQ Money thinking? The XPW TV title is on the line. Challenger Chris Hammer going against Champion Chaos and another chop from the Challenger. Another Irish rip from Pillar to Post reversal from Chaos. Up and over goes Chris Hamrick. Look at this pin. One. No, not even a one count. Oh, look at that. Shot right into the second turnbuckle. Right to the munch of Chris Hamrick. Power slap from Chaos onto Hamrick. <laughs> Chaos trying to regroup. Stomping now at the face of Confederate currency Chris Hamrick. And it looks like he's calling for a ladder once again. <laughs> Chaos with that ladder. What the hell is he doing now? Chaos perching that ladder right on top of the ring post. What the? Oh, look at that. Groin first. Right on the top rope. Chaos still with that ladder up top. And now it's Chris Hamrick. Whoa, what a shot that was. Right to the side of the head, and you can hear the impact echo throughout Viking Hall. Confederate currency Chris Hamrick now with the leg drop. And down goes Chaos, but Chaos still suspended on that top rope, basically stuck at Hamrick's mercy. Nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. Oh, look at this with a steel chair from out under the ring. Confederate currency, Chris Hamrick. What the hell does he have in mind here? Chris Hamrick, what is this? Trying to unperch that ladder now from the ring post. Chris Hamrick with the ladder in hand. Instead of going for the title, look at this insult to injury. Nailing that steel chair right between the eyes of chaos. Confederate currency, Chris Hamrick still with that ladder in hand. Chaos still suspended on the near side. What is this? Oh no, don't tell me. Drop kick. Oh my goodness, did you see the impact? Not only see, you can hear it once again, fans. And GQ Money now looking very concerned. What is Veronica Kane doing? Veronica Kane in the ring, and Chris Hamrick wants to go part, but look out from behind. GQ Money slithering out of the ring. And it looks like he thinks he's thinking on his two feet. I think he's just chicken. Ah! I don't think Chris Hamrick had that in mind. Chaos! Driving Chris Hamrick's head right in that steel chair in the center of the ring. Chaos busted wide open. You can see the blood starting to flow down the face of the XPW television champion. That's Chris Hamrick still laying down after that face was driven right in that steel chair from high above. On the shoulders now of Chaos. Look at this from the top. Double team. GQ Money. Once again, take a look at this, fans. The elevation, his hammer goes flying down. Looks like he hit right on his shoulder. What a devastating top rope leg lariat that was from the Enterprise. But fans, come on. This is not a handicap match. This is supposed to be one-on-one -on -one between Champion Chaos and Challenger Chris Hamrick. But Chaos definitely having the decisive advantage thus far with the assist of the Enterprise up the ringside area. GQ Money handing Chaos this king-size ladder in the ring. This industrial-size ladder. 
and it could be chaos now. Going for the title. That's hung high above the ring here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Veronica Kane looking very confident. Chaos with Hamrick scoop up and plants him in the ring. Chaos, Chaos climbing the ladder. And look at this, Chaos. Chaos, he's not even suspended above the belt. What the hell does he have in mind here? Chaos taking those giant steps above. Above Chris Hamrick. Chaos. Oh, look at this boot salt. But Chaos missed. Hamrick just barely, and I mean barely, got out of the way. Look at this. Vance, a victim of his own ego. Chaos. I mean, he could have had the match won. But instead, the Rock Superstar, he had to showboat, and he came up short. Chris Hamrick regrouping as the ladder still perched on the side of the ring. Shots now from Chaos. No, but it's a duck underneath. Kick to the midsection, to the face, off the rope goes Hamrick. Duck underneath from Chaos, kick to the midsection from him. And now it's shots from the Rock Superstar. Elbow right to the side of the head of Chris Hamrick, and Hamrick's dazed. Chaos with the second ladder now in the ring, going after Hamrick. Hamrick moving out of the way, off the rope. Whoa, what a shot that was. Ladder to face as Hamrick nailing Chaos. Chaos going out to the concrete floor. And now the Enterprise looking very deterred. Now it's Confederate currency Chris Hamrick setting the ladder up right in the middle of the ring as he looks like he's going to go for the XPW TV title. But Chaos with the table. Very frustrated right now. Hamrick setting this ladder up. What the hell is he doing? It's on the side of the ring, but GQ Money in the ring. Grabbing the leg of Chris Hamrick. Hamrick trying to shove. GQ Money up. My guillotine. My guillotine from the ladder. My goodness, what a devastating maneuver. And that had to take a lot out of both men. Once again, the flying guillotine. Chaos leaping from that top rope as Hamrick was perched on that ladder, driving Hamrick down to the center of the ring. Both men down, but, but what's Veronica Kane doing now? Veronica Kane trying to distract referee Hernandez. TQ Money, Chaos, looking to both, in my estimation, possibly double team for his Hamrick here. GQ Money jawing away at the challenger, Chris Hamrick. Oh, but oh no, look at this, Chaos going for the title. Going for the television title, Chris Hamrick barely getting up. Springboard, look at this, oh no, drop kick, and Chaos goes down. Chaos going crashing down. And that was close, that was close. Chaos, he was inches away from flying over that top rope, ultimately onto the concrete floor. Once again, the double team efforts from the Enterprise. GQ Money getting caught on that top rope by Confederate currency, Chris Hamrick. And this is what I was talking about. Chris Hamrick having to waste his time on both men. What's he going for now? The Dixie driver from the top. GQ Money crashing down. Once again, beautifully executed by the challenger, Chris Hamrick. Kick to the midsection from TV champ, Chaos. Gonzo Bomb on the Confederate currency, Chris Hamrick. And now once again, the tide turning again as Chaos has the upper hand in this match. Everybody on their feet here at Viking Hall as Chaos once again sets the ladder up in the center of the ring. Going ultimately, it looks like now, for the world television title. Looking up at the title, trying to get position now in the center of the ring. Chris Hamrick is down and out. Chaos looks groggy himself. GQ Money trying to regroup himself on the outside of the ring. And Veronica Kane looks, well, she, oh. Chaos scaling the wrong side of the ladder. This guy's dazed. This guy's confused. And what's he thinking now? He's pushing the ladder over, holding it up. Chaos, he's lost his mind. He's gone bonkers. And Chris Hamrick is still down and out. Chaos could have had this match won by now. But he wants to inflict more pain, more damage onto the challenger. Chaos for the top, 450, no, no, but he missed. 
And that was desperation. That was desperation how Chris Herrick got out of the way. What the hell was Chaos thinking? Chaos could have had this match won. But it was possibly his ego, once again, getting the best of him. And you recall, fans, Chaos in this match. He's taken so many shots to the head. Chair shots, fists, elbows. Obviously, this man not in his right mind right now. Chop from Hamrick. But we can also see that Hamrick is busted open as well. Irish whip. Oh, right to the ladder goes Chris Hamrick. Perched on the side of the ring. Chaos going for ladder number three, it looks like. Oh, no, Chaos. No. Hamrick getting the legs up, dodging that ladder. Chaos looks like he's making a ladder sandwich now. These ladders wedge within each other. And I don't think Chaos had that in mind. As Chris Hamrick once again close line duck underneath, neck breaker. <laughs> Chaos just barely, and I mean barely, folks, getting to his feet. A lot has been taken out of him, but also a lot's been taken out of the challenger as well. This match could go either way. As Chaos grabs the giant ladder, the industrial size ladder, stomping away now at challenger Hamrick. Setting the ladder up with the assist of GQ Money. Right beneath the belt, the ladder being set up in the center of the ring. And this could be it. This could be the last opportunity Hamrick has to stop Chaos from getting the world television title. That's hung high above the ring, but Chaos could barely climb the ladder. He doesn't even know which side he's supposed to climb. Chaos going up top, but look at this, Hammer, Hammer getting to his feet, going up as well. Hammer, Chaos, it's a race for the gold. Both men up top, hammering away at one another. Chris Hammer, Chaos, headbutt. Oh, look at Chaos fly. Chaos from the top of the ladder, down, crashing to the ring. And Hammer, yes, yes, Hammer, about ready to be the new XPW World Television Champion. What the hell is he doing? Leg drop from the top, and Hamrick misses. Once again, the elevation. Chaos getting out of the way. Both these men taking such high risk maneuvers. Huge shot to the face. Heel kick from Chaos. And it's Hamrick laid out on that ladder. That ladder sandwich. Elbow drop. Chaos right on top of Confederate currency, Chris Hamrick. Throwing the third ladder in the ring is GQ Money. The fourth ladder. Look at this. Oh, no. Hamrick barely getting out of the way. And these ladders meshed into one another. Chaos shot now to the face. And this looks like a war zone. This looks like a war zone in here. Setting Hamrick on that ladder. What the hell does Chaos have in mind? Chaos on the ladder as well. Climbing. What is this? Right where he wants to know. Oh my goodness. Power bomb. Power bomb on the ladder. And Chaos goes flying right to the external occipital protuberance area. And the fans in Philly are loving the match between Chaos and Hamrick for the XPW World Television title. And look at the back of Chaos as he's been crunched on the ladder craftmatic of his own creation. Say that three times fast. Chaos down and out is Chris Hamrick scaling the ladder once again. Going for the, oh no, no, GQ money. Ah! on the concrete floor from high above and he is down and out he is down and out that ringside table barely and i mean barely broke his fall as his legs were the only thing that hit it ultimately crashing down on the concrete floor chaos scaling the ladder with the assist of gq money you have got to be kidding me GQ Money hoisting Chaos's feet onto that ladder and let, no, Chaos retains the title. Chaos retains the title. Chaos is still 
against champion chaos however both men but it's that man right there that assisted chaos in the victory if you ask me either man could have had this match won as the case it's a, what the hell is this who is that somebody just stormed the ring out of the crowd he went right after the tv champ chaos what wait a minute that that's Danny Doring! Danny Doring in the ring! Going after GQ Money! Driving him down with a DDT! Doring looking right at Veronica Kane! And the crowd in Philly! The crowd in Philly's loving it! Veronica Kane very standoffish! Oh my goodness! Oh! Wait a minute! Wait a minute, Doring! Don't fall for it! We've seen what happened to Hamrick! And look at this, he's not, he's not. Danny Doring with a handful of hair. Oh my goodness, what is this? Danny Doring at the right place at the right time. Doring with Kane. File driver. Danny Doring returning to Viking Hall. Why? What is he doing here? Maybe now we can shed some light on the subject. SPW, welcome to Philadelphia! Welcome to the mother East Coast! Chaos, wrong time, wrong place. You see, this is the building where I made my name. In this building, in front of you, in front of you, in front of you. Atlas, I know you're gonna throw me out of here. Atlas security circling the ring. Looks like we may have a turf war on our hands. Guys, we go back, Ronnie, we go back a long way. You owe me this one minute to talk to these hardcore mother <laughs> Tonight, gentlemen, I was always taught when you make an impact somewhere, you go after the big dog. Tonight, Chaos, you got a case of Danny Doring, and I bet you didn't like it. <laughs> and that's what I want. That's what I want. Going back to Cali. The Cali. So I, come on. Come on, mother Let him go! Let him go! Come on! Danny Dory calling out chaos, but look at this Atlas security now holding chaos back! Let him go! The fans want to see it! The fans want him to let him chaos go! And Danny Dory wants chaos! I'm getting out of here! XPW, chaos, that little bag, and that Welcome to Danny Doring's Hostile Takeover! Can you believe this? Danny Doring! I had a long night. A real bad long night, if you will. And I got in a little trouble. So what did I do? I got on the phone right away to Bell Bail Bond. Bell Bail Bonds will take care of your DUI ASAP. Bell Bail Bonds is located at 14516 Irvin Street in Van Nuys, California. And tell them Johnny Webb sang. XPW fans, be sure to check out our newest additions to the XPW merchandise catalog. New t-shirts, including Vogel the Clown, Supreme, who asks the question, who am I? Absolutely extreme. Giving you a little XPW history you can wear. 
we have arrived. XBW plants its flag nationwide. And hostile takeover, a new direction for extreme pro wrestling. What did you think? We forgot about the hats. You like f***ing hats? We got hats. Plus, don't forget 8x10 photos of your favorite XPW stars. And get them now before they run out. The 2003 calendar autographed by the stars of XPW. For all your merchandise needs, log on to XPWrestling.com or call toll free 888-768-8240. The Enterprise, the Hollywood conglomerate, comes through once again for their client chaos at Hostile Takeover. But the celebration was cut short by Danny Doring, a wrestler not under contract with XPW, but a wrestler that is very familiar with the XPW arena when it went under a different name. Danny Doring claiming that it was time for his Hostile Takeover and under no uncertain terms, challenge chaos anytime, any place. Now, will there be a fallout Saturday night, October the 5th? You're going to have to be there to find out. And in addition to the XPW World Television Champion, King of the Deathmatch Supreme will be there. The XPW World Tag Team Champions, Mexico's Most Wanted, along with Vicious Vic Grimes, Psychosis, Juventu Guerrero, and super crazy and a whole lot more and just signed this past week the sandman wanting to avenge that brutal attack that he suffered at the hands of poco the clown well those two are going to be one-on-one -on -one saturday night october the 5th at the xpw arena fans tickets are on sale right now you can call the xpw box office toll free 1-866-888 4336, of course, you can also log on to XPWrestling.com. Tickets are going fast, fans. But if you're in the Philadelphia area and you want general admission seats, well, you can go to the one and only, and I'm talking about Tony Luke, Old Philly Style Sandwiches, located at 39 East Oregon Avenue, right around the corner from the XPW Arena. Fans, for those of you who were there at Hostile Takeover, you know that when XPW comes to town, it's a night not to be missed. And for those of you who weren't there, this is your chance to find out what everybody's been talking about. The franchise, Shane Douglas, is in control of the XPW World Heavyweight title. And with Lizzie Borden by his side, is in control of the entire company. And on Saturday night, October the 5th, it's time to feel the fallout. Danny Zorin, you want to try to make yourself famous? You want to try to make a name by coming onto our territory, by coming into our turf, by stepping into an XPW ring and taking on us? You want to step into the ring and blindside the XPW television champion? You want to do what no one has been able to do, and that is put down the man right here. You want to end the streak. You want to end the undefeated reign. You want to try to dispute the undisputed title and undisputed nature that is the hot superstar. Danny Dorton, you're going to prove yourself to be the biggest jackass in this company. You're going to prove yourself to have made the dumbest mistake that anyone has ever done because you don't step into the Enterprise's realm. You don't step into the Enterprise's world, and you do not step into the Enterprise's world when the Enterprise is not ready for you. Are you going to become another victim and another jackass that we throw on the list and deal with. E-R, E-R, right, 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 Danny Dorian, you want this, you want this prestigious title? Come October 5th when the smoke is cleared and it's all said and done, when you're advertising the fact that you just got chaos to fight. Chaos to fight! You're gonna realize who you're messing with! You're messing with the chaos! The best mouth of the West! Oh yeah! That's what I'm talking about. And it's more than a gimmick, it's a way of life. And it's more than living the life, it's living legends. Shane Douglas, throughout your illustrious career, you've crossed paths with many, many people. And for some reason, it always seems like you never quite end up parting on good terms. Last time, 
you and I parted. It was not the way I wanted it to be. I never got to say the things I wanted to say, Shane. I've waited long enough. October 5th, I'm coming to see you face to face. This will be a confrontation like no other. Cause Shane, remember, you are my friend of misery.